Hi, welcome to the studio. Um, I'm doing a series of short films here. I did one a couple of weeks ago. It was actually a silent film, but um, I got quite a response from people asking to see more of what I'm doing inside the studio more often. So um, moving along fairly quickly here, um, today I'm going to be describing this particular painting. This painting is called When She Dreams. Um, I posted a still of it on uh, my pages previously, but I thought I'd give a little explanation. This painting is one of six that will be going to the Maine Art Hill Choices show this spring in Kennebunk, Maine. So I'll be posting more about that in the next month or so as that show uh, advertisement starts to gear up. So stay tuned. But this particular painting is, as I said, it's called When She Dreams. And um, because I'm very big on uh, symbolism, I'll explain in a, in a moment what some of this means in, within the dream. But um, this particular painting is what I call a third element moment um, painting. Uh, in my impression, uh, the, the first element is ourselves. The second element is the world around us that we interact with. And the third element is what most of us would call spirit. Um, and so a third element painting for me is a painting where I'm depicting a, a lucid moment, uh, which is kind of beyond ourselves, where we're, um, we feel is very highly impacting upon us. Um, something that in most cases we remember for many years to come, if not for the rest of our lives. Um, most people have those in dreams, from what I'm told, although some people do say they have them in, in waking moments. Um, but this particular one is about a dream. So the woman is coming through a grove of birches. She's, it, this is a spring scene, so there's spring flowers all over the forest floor. She's being created out of the mist which is emanating up off of the forest floor. Um, the birch trees around her are a symbolism for me. Birch trees in most ancient cultures in which they exist are given a feminine emanation meaning they're attributed to the feminine. Birch trees have a lot of life-giving and medicinal properties. Um, their uh, leaves are filled with vitamin C. Their inner bark can be used for medicinal purposes. Their sap is readily drinkable. Um, so this, and their bark can, has, is filled with oil emollients and catches fire even in wet and uh, damp weather. So it has a lot of life-giving properties to it. And so thus it's, it's given a feminine emanation. So she's walking through the grove of birches and she's coming up on the evergreen forest where there's a moon in the distance and light entities coming out to greet her in the dream. And the evergreen forest uh, is another ancient symbolism. Evergreens are a symbol of eternity. Um, that's why at the winter solstice, the holiday seasons for most of us, um, we decorate with evergreens, holly, ivy, pine boughs go around our doorways and around our mantles. This is because of, they're a symbol of um, eternal protection at the time of the solstice. So she's coming through the, the birch grove. She's created up out of the forest floor in the dream. So she's going to have an apparition, translucent type look to her. Um, and she's having this interactive moment at the evergreen forest edge. Um, this painting, again, is about 50% done. The next time you see it will be on the main Art Hill website. I'll be posting more about that as the next month or so uh, progresses. And that's it for today. That's where this painting is at, but I wanted to share with you what the symbolism was about and what the scene was about. So... Um, I hope to see you again soon. I'll try and post more short films soon, and I will see you then.